Okay, time for the first demo. So what we're going to do here is we're going to build and uh, and push and deploy uh, a container running a PHP application inside Apache. So let's look at the application first. So it is super simple. It's really just a couple of PHP pages, nothing fancy. Um, let's look at the Docker file. All right nothing fancy either installing Apache PHP um, starting Apache and serving our pages right nothing complicated just a vanilla docker file so first of all um, let's uh, connect to our ECR registry so I'm going to use the get login command for ECR and the only option I need to mention here is the region because right now ECR is only available in the US East 1 so I need to make sure it's pointing to the right place but that's not a problem because although the, your images will be hosted there they can be pulled and deployed on clusters uh, running anywhere so my cluster is running in EU West 1 and I'm going to pull images from the US that's, that's no big deal so Here's the command that I have to run, so don't worry, it's uh, it's a standard docker login command with a large token and here you have the URL of your registry, right? <laughs> well, mine actually. So let's run this command. <coughs> and we should be connected, yes? Um, do we have any repositories already? Let's look at that. So, yeah, actually, I already created the repo, but, you know, I can show you the command to do that. You would only do create repository, repo name, Right, so it's going to complain here obviously because I guess the name already exists, but that's the command you would run. Right, so we have a repository uh, and now we can build our image and push it. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, Docker build. We'll tag that container with the PHP simple app tag. And there you go. So this is really fast because, you know, I've done this a few times. And, you know, thank God it's fast because we're not wasting any time with the demo. So now I can look at my image right there. Okay. So I'm going to tag it with the repo name. let's call that guy version 1 okay and now I can push it and obviously I've done this before and it should be really fast okay so it will take a little more time for you obviously if you have to to build all the layers but okay this is how you do it and uh, if I'm, let's show you maybe the ECR console for a second. Uh, whoops, it's in there. So I have to switch to US East for a second. And I should see repository here. And that's the one I created, right? and I should see my images right there okay so again you know it's uh, just a nice way to have your uh, your private registry with your images hosted on AWS let's go back to Ireland okay so I've built the image I've pushed it now it's time to deploy it so in order to do this I need to write 
a compost file that ECS is going to use. And as you can see, the syntax is uh, really, really close to, uh, to a Docker compost file. So the first line here is the image that uh, uh, I need to, uh, to pull to start my containers. So it's the, the name of the registry and the tag. Uh, let's ignore those two for a second. I'll, I'll get back to that. Uh, the port I want to open, that's a web app. So I, I want that to be available on port 80. And the entry point of my container is Apache to serve my PHP pages. CPU shares is, uh, is an indication of uh, how much uh, CPU that container is going to require. Um, so let me show you how that works. So if I'm going to the ECS console, looking at, looking at the ECS instances, I can see that these instances have 10, 24 points of CPU. So th that's not 10, 24 CPUs, right? That would be lovely, but no, sorry. So it's 1,024 points of CPU. Uh, the, the number of points that uh, an instance has uh, depends on the size of the instance. So the bigger the instance, the more points it will have. Here we're running T2 micro, and that means 10, 24 points. And so uh, I'm, I'm telling ECS, okay, this container uh, requires 100 points. So that's, a, that's an indication that pretty much you could run, the scheduler would be allowed to run 10 of those containers on a single instance. Um, uh, it, it's uh, it's a way of uh, you know either maybe running many many containers or on a single instance when it comes to CPU reservation, or if you wanted to dedicate an instance to a container, you could say you know this guy uh, requires 10, 24 points and it will be running on uh, alone on the instance, right? So that's a nice way to say basically how 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 you can stack containers on on a given instance. Memory limit. <coughs> is uh, is um, basically how much memory, the maximum amount of memory that this container will uh, will reserve and, and use, right? So that's 128 megs, okay? And again, if we look at uh, if we look at our instances here, we see available memory is about one gigabyte, which sounds about right for T2 micro, and so that means I could run. Uh, well, probably seven and not eight uh, of those uh, PHP containers on the instance, okay? Right, so that's all you need to provide. Uh, there are many more options, but you know I want to keep this simple, so please uh, check the, the documentation if you want to know more about Compose File. Okay, so let's get this container uh, deployed, and I'm going to use the friendly ECS CLI command. And I'm going to say compose service up. And that's all I need to do. So a lot of stuff is happening there. Um, that compose file um, that we just saw is sent to ECS. Uh, and that becomes um, a task definition. Uh, we'll look at that in a minute. Um, and uh, once the task definition is created, uh, ECS can create a service. Service is <coughs> a task definition and a number of uh, running tasks. And as we can see here, desired count equal one, right? So we did not mention any number of containers here. So by default, we're going to run one container. And we see that, you know, for a while we are asking for one, but none is running. And then you know the scheduler does its job, and I ask for one, and I have one. And now I can actually look at it using ECS CLI PS, and I see that okay, my container is running at this IP address on port 80. So you know, let's immediately check that this is running, and we look at the details later. And yes, all right. So congratulations, we've just started. Uh, our first container on ECS, right? So that's pretty cool. So what happens when I'm doing this is I'm connecting to an EC2 instance running Docker and uh, inside this uh, Docker, uh, I've got my PHP container running 
and uh, and exposing port 80 and that's what I'm seeing right there okay so that's nice so let's look at <coughs> let's look at the ECS console so now I should see a service right yep so I've got my PHP service running here with a task definition I'm going to look at that in a second desired tasks one run it tasks one okay makes sense and that's the definition of a service right it's a task definition and a number of running tasks so what is the task definition now well the task definition is really the uh, it's the ECS equivalent of the compose file that we built and uh, we we see information the in the container itself the image the CPU units the memory the entry point the port mappings and if we had specified volumes environment variables etc well we would see all of this right there okay and as you can see those task definitions are versioned so anytime I'm going to change something in a compose file ECS will detect that and create a new revision for uh, for that task definition and that's actually very very useful because uh, if you want to uh, uh, roll back to an earlier version of uh, of your task definition well you can do that pretty easily right you would just go to the service and uh, you would update it and you could select here an earlier task definition if you wanted to right so pretty cool okay um, what else um, could we look at here um, we could take a quick look maybe at uh, the AWS command line for a second uh, obviously we could do this get some information on our cluster right so three instances one running task etc um, we could do something like this right and get uh, some information on the, on the containers running um, and oh three containers I wonder why hmm, yeah we'll, we'll answer that a little later um, and now oh come on yes thank you uh, don't you want to connect to that instance and see what's what's happening in there okay so let's do that so I would run SSH C2 user and well it's not working why well it's not working because port 22 is not open and obviously that's the port we need for SSH so let's go back to ECS CLI for a second Oops. So actually, uh, when I run that ECS CLI up command, I did not say anything about networking, did not say anything about uh, specifying a VPC, specifying a security group, etc. I, I used all default options. So by default, when you use that ECS CLI up command that I used, only port 80 will be open. Uh, if you need more, uh, you know, finer uh, network settings, uh, there are uh, there are some options there. Um, no, it's not going to help. Uh, there are some options there. Um, minus minus help maybe. Yes, thank you. Sorry about that. Um, and um, you can see that you can actually give the ID of a security group you can give the ID of a VPC 
etc etc so you don't have to create a vpc from scratch you could be running in your own vpc you could be running in your own subnets etc etc so bottom line if you use ecs cli up with a uh, you know no very little with only the mandatory options only port 80 will be open right uh, and uh, you can see that one here right defaults to port 80 so that means ssh is not open so let's open it so let's go back to the ec2 console i should see my three instances here right let's filter them okay three instances let's look at security group and indeed only port 80 is open so we can quickly fix this right let's keep it simple save and now <coughs> I should be able to SSH into my instance and the first thing that you see here is the name of the instance which is uh, ECS optimized Amazon Linux okay which is the special image running docker and the agent so as you can see you know it's a proper EC2 instance so let's uh, do we have a docker uh, running here yes we do do you have containers in there yes we do and actually we see our, uh, our PHP container and we see the Amazon ECS agent which is the um, uh, which is a container itself right right as you can see we have that image here and we have the image that we pulled from our repository um, so there you go right so you don't want to be messing with those instances but if you want to you can you know you can SSH on them and you can uh, you can look at, at what's going on and uh, and run docker commands here if you want to but you know you, you don't have to you can stick with the ECS CLI command okay so so far what do we have we have only one container running uh, probably we would like more right so let's do that so ECS CLI compose service scale 3 okay and immediately I can see this information here desired count 3 running count 1 if I'm going to the ECS console once again and looking at tasks rule well, that's what I wanted to show you so that's the one that's already that, that was already running and the other two are pending yeah? the scheduler uh, has received the uh, the information that we wanted two more it located instances with uh, uh, sufficient resources and it's starting the containers right in a second right that's another one running and the third one will be running momentarily right come on of course it's going to take a little more time this time <laughs> yes thank you and I can see my three uh, containers running so if I'm running ECS IPS I should seal three right and I'm able to connect to any of the three um, but that's not cool right we, we want to have load balancing so let's pause that video and let's continue with uh, creating a load balancer <laughs>